How to use AI to scrub the best motivated seller data for wholesaling real estate. What is up guys, Zach in here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use AI to go out here and get the best motivated seller lists that a year ago was never possible. And probably a month ago was never possible. So there's a brand new AI called DeepSeek, and yes, it's Chinese, and it's probably the Chinese government dealing with it, but they just dropped the best AI that I have personally seen to date of this recording. And the main reason why this AI is so good is for two reasons that ChatGPT just does not have. Number one, this is connected to the internet, insane. Number two, it is a large language model, which is all fancy, but ChatGPT is built off of the English language. The DeepSeek is built off the Chinese language, which is about 60 to 70% 70, 70 more effective, which means it's faster and way more creative than I've personally seen. This new DeepSeek AI also has something called DeepThink R1, which is just an insane, insanely creative and powerful tool with AI that's just absolutely amazing. And it works just like ChatGPT. By the way, it's completely free. And before my naysayers say, oh, this is Chinese spyware, don't do it. Guys, you already have TikTok downloaded on your phones. Like, I'm being honest, if the Chinese government wants to get my real estate wholesaling lead information, I don't think there's much they can do. I'm really more worried about my competition doing this. But the main reason why this is so powerful is because this is not giving me political answers. Now, I'm not getting the politics of this is right or not, but when I go to Gemini or I go to ChatGPT and I ask it, for example, how do I pull a fire damage property list? It says, well, is that the right thing to do? Or it says, maybe it's not the correct thing to do in your law and it interprets laws and tells you, I don't think that's the right thing. They have all these ethical things when it just drives me crazy. Like ChatGPT literally says that wholesaling is technically illegal when it is not. And they don't really know the laws. They, they're kind of all over the board. And they give you a lot of wrong answers. And DeepSeek, if you ask it a question about just, hey, find me government data, it just does it. It doesn't give me political woo-woo, which is something that is deeply refreshing. So let's kind of go inside of DeepSeek right now and show you how to pull government data and courthouse leads. This is stuff where a lot of AI, it will do the scraping for you, but it won't show you where to get the information. And the cool part is you get a search tab. So ChatGPT does not have this. Gemini is kind of close on this, but still not that good. So let's show it. All we have to do is go to deepseek.com over right here, right here. And I'm gonna show you exactly how we can start doing this to get data and information. Now, let's say we wanna live in Knoxville, Tennessee, and we wanna pull some lists, right? So I'm just gonna throw in here on DeepSeek, how do I pull the government lists for Knox? County, Tennessee. Please share how I can obtain fire damage property, damage property list, code violations, pre foreclosures, probate data, evictions, divorce lists, liens, and anything else that will be a motivated seller for me to get a great wholesaling real estate deal. Now, if I ask, how do I find deals for deep discounts and give me lists that do that? They're like, well, is it the right thing to get a property at a discount? And should we, it's like, it pretends like we're a realtor on ChatGPT. DeepSeek, it just, it does what it's what you ask it. So what you gotta do here is have DeepThink on, it's really important so you can toggle in between it. But also you see this little search, it's going to go connected to the internet, which is insanely powerful. Also, we can connect our data right here. But let me show you, we're gonna press enter and what it's gonna do is start looking at the information. So DeepSeek is kind of pop popular right now, so unfortunately it gives us some errors. So all I have to do is go to new chat, copy and paste and do it again. So now it is popping the information for me, which is pretty cool. So it's giving me exactly where to get the information. It's showing me exactly what I can be doing, evictions, all this fun stuff show me arrest records, divorce lists, liens, all this data that we need to get. Now on top of this too, I'm on my local county's court records and all I'm gonna do is go to, for example, the official records and I'm gonna scrape some data. Now we're gonna blur this out for unfortunately YouTube's policies, but we're gonna to go to document here and let's pull like the probates for example. Yeah, let's do the liens, right? You do liens right here for the day. We're gonna press search. And what I'm gonna do is just copy this information and then throw this back into here and go right here. Now, again, it's giving me links. Like, look at this. I just clicked the, I just went back to DeepSeek while I was running this and it's giving me the public record requests, 
how to find county co code, code enforcement. It literally popped up the Knox County code. So I know exactly where to do it, guys. This deep seeks doing stuff ChatGPT just can't do. This is a great update. But to go even crazier here, we just copied this information. So we're gonna put organize, organize this information into a spreadsheet so I can skip trace it and put it into a dialer. So we're gonna upload the info. So we can click here and upload a CSV, but I'm just gonna paste the information. Now the cool part is if it's like a photo, we can just screenshot the photo and upload it into here and it'll scrape the data for us. But we're gonna throw that information I just copy and paste it. You see all this crazy stuff right here. So what it is doing, it is taking the spreadsheet, taking the information and putting it all in. So uh, let's give it a second to go do this. As we're speaking, it is literally just creating this for us, which is absolutely amazing. Now this looks a little crazy here, but let's see what it does. Now all this information just got put into a CSV here, which I can go inside of X leads, go to lead pipes and just import it. So I can import, you know, 15,000 skip traces right there. Pretty simple and easy. And on top of that too, we can ask another question, go to search and just be like, find us where to get the lean data in Brevard County, Florida. Next here, we're gonna just ask us where to get the lean data in Brevard County, Florida. And let's use DeepThink here and just see what it says. See if we could scrape the internet for this for us. So boom, right there, it's giving us the online portal. Ooh, that's, that's money right there. So, I mean, still displaying the info, it shows me where to call, but we're just gonna to go to official record search. Beautiful, now it displays all the information we need right here. Now you don't even need to use DeepSeek, right? If we ask the same information in Gemini, which is definitely powered by Google, it'll get a little worse results, but sometimes it'll find the portal a lot better because Google does run this AI. Again, this is just Gemini Google, but you click here and it pops up the official records, which is pretty cool. So boom, we go by document type, I accept the terms, and there we go. So let's find a good document here. You, you know what, you do the probates, we'll do the probates. List pendants is pre-foreclosures, by the way. But let's do probates, probate order, probate guardianship, probate order. We're gonna do probate order admitting will for the, for the past seven days. We're gonna press search. And all the probate data is right here. Oh, that's money right there. Just click export to CSV. And then I don't even have to use AI. I can just kind of just upload the CSV inside of here and you're good to go. And boom, you're good to go. If you didn't go crazier with DeepSeek though, their AI is pretty cool for the search. Their AI is pretty cool here. I just gave it the probate data and just say, organize this information with records that have property associated with it. So some of these probates, of course, the person that passed away might have sold their house and they lived in the home and some people actually own real estate. You wanna only deal with probates that have real estate owned. So having AI go out here and analyze the probate information I just gave it is absolutely insane. Showing the legal descriptions and showing the information. Now, of course, we kind of have to blur some of this information out, but this is absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna say, give me all of those records. I wanna make some money. There we go. Look at that. Guys, I used to have to pay a VA a lot of money for this stuff. And look at all these leads right here. It's just, this thing is just a money making machine. Now it looks like on those seven, only that one has a property on it, so no big deal. But we're just putting out information right here. Like this is just pretty fun and easy. And so if you're ever telling me that you're struggling with probates or liens or information about virtual wholesaling, like it's all here and in your local market, this is even crazier. AI is completely changing the way that we're wholesaling real estate. And if you're not on this train, you're gonna be losing. So choo-choo, chug along, start using AI. I think DeepSeek is my personal favorite right now. Of course, there's gonna be new ones coming out and I'm gonna keep you updated on this. But if you're not using AI, somebody else in your market is and they're gonna gain the unfair advantage. Guys, this is all completely for free. Just go out here and do it. Guys, if you wanna just check out my AI prompts, I have an AI repair cost tool, which is free in my free wholesaling community at freewholesaling.com. Like always, got any value from this video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. This is Zach and signing out. Have a blessed one.